Hey guys, Waller D here. We're back for more Mega Man 7, and now I have to fight this dick one last time. Make it or break it. Let's go, asshole. I'm ready. This is... I'm gonna have to wait until you jump, though. There we go. Uh, it seems that if you hit him twice, he runs away. He does this shit, and it's entirely random. Come on, knock this off. And the, probably the best attack to get hit by is basically that little slash attack that does like two damage as opposed to the charge shot that one you want to dodge that at all costs because contact damage hurts like hell come on do your what the fucking hell little dick i thought you were gonna jump up but no i think i'm gonna get my little slash in yeah you fucking missed all right so yeah he'll be pretty much slash when he gets close dick and run away every time you hit him twice, so not a problem, really. You just gotta dodge the damn bombs and that charge, little charging attack he does. Dick. Okay. Now well, you're not gonna get that damn attack in. Shit. It's just mainly contact damage that you have to worry about, and the bombs. Shit. The slash is probably the best attack that you could get hit by in this, at this point. Shit. Ah, fucker! You're gonna die now. Goodbye, fucktard. Damn. I hate that guy so much. Mega Man, how you feel? Yeah, you just shake your head. It's like, fuck that guy. And I now get green balls surrounding me. What's up, Mega Man? You turning... environmental on our ass? It's like, what the fuck are you wearing there, Mega Man? The green looks horrible on you. But yeah, basically, Dr. Light's there to say it has limited range. Now get your limited ass out of here. And now we have Slash Claw, which is a pretty good weapon. I can't diss it. I mean, it's pretty good for use. It's pretty good. I mean, it's definitely going to do its job. But it's not exactly terrific. So, once you get Slash Claw, you can go this guy and kick his ass, because he's even easier with Slash Claw, but we're not going to resort to it. Here's Spring Man, and Spring Man is pretty much... His stage is pretty easy, I'd say. It'd probably be easiest, in a way. I mean, you're not going to run into many spikes or death pits. I'm being there's barely any death pits. The only thing you have to worry about is enemies here. And there are a couple of spikes, of course. I mean, it's not like this place is going to be completely devoid of something that can kill you instantly, but at least they're not going to be all over the damn place. And it's... It's just the boss at the end might give you a problem. Just a small problem. Want to get this real quick? Yeah. <coughs> Any, anything this stage is kind of fun, I guess. Dick. And you have this thing, which you can get. I mean, you can get it doing this. No, you want to try to angle it yet like that. So you can get it that way, or you can just try to hit the wall before you fall down. And I would suggest using your little pea shots on these guys, because they're kind of annoying if you wait to do your charge shot. Uh-oh, they're scanning the schematics of Mega Man's helmet. And his body, what the fuck are they trying to pull here? <coughs> Is this a laboratory of some sort? But yeah, as you can see, this level is definitely more easy than annoying there anyway. You want to watch out for that little trap, though. And you don't want to fall down here. It just take care, just take use of invincibility frames if you need it. <coughs> Alright. So far, so good, Mega Man. Yeah, as you can see, most of it is just bouncing around and... But there is something important here, and I was just using your S adapter to find it. Girl. Interesting background game. You wanna watch out for that shit, and that fucking asshole shooting me bullets at me. You wanna bounce your way up here, <coughs> and you wanna jump on this thing a couple times to get in this. And then you wanna just play the waiting game. Bam! Fuck yeah! Oh, what the hell? And then we have this room. Just try and be very careful. What'd you get, Mega Man? Looks like a huge ass bolt. Didn't somebody say something about it? A hyper bolt of some sort? 
And then what you want to do now that you've found that important hyper hole is to bounce your ass up here. Watching out for these damn spring-like things. And then bounce, fall down here again. As you can see, this level is very fucking easy. I mean, you're not going to have very many troubles at all. Ah, oh, damn it. Is there anything good down here? I'm guessing it's spikes. No, just life, huh? Ain't that funny. It's like the first area that I would expect some spot or some spikes of some sort, but nope. So yeah, this is definitely one of the easiest levels in the game. I mean, the, the fact that there's no fucking spikes or many death pits amazes me. I mean, there's no... There's not much depth at all, it's just bouncy fun. Now, when it comes to, like, beating a level and not and having all your life intact, that could be a different story. Oh, and where are we at the end? Sweet. Alright, this next boss is a little tricky, but I will show off his weakness just once. Okay. Sup, Spray Man? You have a shitty weapon, I heard. Very shitty. And what's what you can do? Smack him with that, and he falls back and does this over and over again. This attack. Making him very sad. But if you don't do anything like that, he'll do this crap, which makes the fight a little bit more tricky. Because if he grabs you, he can do a shitload of damage with his next attack. Dick! So yeah, use the slide, try to get rid of this little spring attack, otherwise you're gonna have to deal with these fucking things, and they're not fun. But yeah, stick to mainly your, your P shots here, using a charge shot here and there. Like, right here, this is a good time to use your P-Shots. And just try to get away from him when he's bouncing around like this. Otherwise, you could die. And you're gonna be dead when you land, buddy. Nope, you won't even land, fucking dumbass. Yeah! Yeah, Mega Man, what do you feel? I feel like shaking my head again, right? No, he doesn't even do that. Damn it, game. And now we're getting a very purplish color surrounding our hero. And what the hell is that? <coughs> well, we'll find out shortly. The wild coil launches one coil forward and one coil back, right? Uh, why are you asking that? You have the damn power. Yes, but you're an idiot, Mega Man, for even asking me this shit, even though you know how to use the damn thing. Just char remember to charge your weapon so you can actually make them more useful. Now I got wild coil, and this is probably the most worthless le weapon in the game in terms of usefulness. But, unfortunately, since it's the most useless weapon in the game, it's gonna be the most useful weapon against the final boss. And by useful, I mean barely that. But, just keep that in mind. And what you can do here, I think if you hold the L, R, and start button for this guy, you can get some other music. At least that's what I'm thinking. Let's try holding all the buttons. Oh, nice. Hey, that's fucking. Hey, that's fucking Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Oh, wow. Catcom, you are fucking referencing little bastards. So we now have Ghouls and Ghosts music to go along with this stage. So that's kinda cute. And don't fucking mock me, Raven. I'm just listening to this damn music. So this is. You can get the normal stage music, or you can get this awesome music, and I kind of prefer this one already. Very more, it seems more appropriate, because the enemies are very much like <clears throat> themselves in, say, um, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, or G Ghosts and Goblins, whichever game you, you prefer. And you want to watch out for these damn things, just pellet them to death. They shouldn't be any problem. Fucker. Stop trying to be like Mennonite. It's not fitting. Okay, so you want to climb up this ladder real quick? We have more of this damn raven. Dick! Do not mock, fucker. Yeah, these are probably the most annoying enemies, because their shot's a little... It's a little hard to dodge. Just try to lure it so it goes over your head or something. We're nine minutes in this video, and we have the ever-loving bats. Damn bats. I'm sure those things hurt like hell, so I'm not gonna f try to find out. Okay, yeah, they fucking hurt like hell. Damn spike. Of 
crushing things. Okay, and that doesn't drop you down anywhere. And then we got the mid-boss coming up. Okay, now it's just... I'm gonna try to see which weapon makes him do certain things. Let's try this one. Yeah, punk. This should probably work. Ow, fucker. Hmm. Chunk shield? No, let's try freeze cracker. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, this frost should probably work. Maybe. I mean, do you see many pumpkins in the winter? Not really. Yeah, that should work. Come on, do something new. Usually there's two ways that you can go. Either this guy's gonna go this way, or he's gonna crash into this wall, I believe. He just decided to go that way, so that wasn't the weapon to make him do something different. Alright, punk. Yeah. And what you can do, if you happen to meet, uh, Proto Man back in Turbo Man stage, you can fight him here. Basically, I didn't do that, so he's not here anymore. Fuck. Aw, oh, dick. And you, if you fight him, you or fight him twice and beat his ass, you can actually do some or get some uh, get an interesting, if not good, item. Problem is there are some flaws with said item, but at least it'll be a nice um, a nice way to uh, block shots, basically. Just a hint what it could possibly be. But we need to slide our ass down here, and then we want to slide, but make sure to turn over round right near the end, because, as I'll show you in a moment with Scorch Wheel, there's fucking spikes right there. And this makes this part, like, 20 times easier with... I'm not sure if there's any other weapons that light up the area, but this is the best way to light up stuff. Problem is, it kind of uses up, um... It kind of uses up, uh pretty much a lot of power just to use one Scorch Wheel, so that's where the use one is kind of dies out for that weapon a little bit, but it's not bad. Come on. And I was just using P-Shots here, because these guys are, take a lot of hits. And your Charge Buster, remember, it sucks. Come on, girl, come on. But this is a pretty nice scene here, and this will make some references in later games. <coughs> power battles. Fucking dick. Dick! Alright. But this is probably the, one of the few elevators in the Mega Man game that would have no spikes at the top. At least one with no, with no ceiling in it. Alright, and that's it for that ride. Let's see what's over here. I think there shouldn't be much over here. What the fuck? Base? Darn, I was careless. I feel so stupid that I've been defeated so easily. Well, you're... Got beat by Mega Man earlier. Maybe we should give up and leave Wily to you. No, we are team. Dr. Link will be glad to fix you up. Yeah, I'm sure he will, Mega Man. It's like, thanks, I'm glad that I have you a friend like you. Intend I'm going to betray you and make you look bad, Mega Man. Yeah! So that's what Base was telling his, his mind, really, or thinking. I mean, he will, he'll be a great buddy. But I think we're going to stop here, guys, because I don't trust myself with that little life. So next time, we're going to beat the fucking Shade Man and see what happens. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and adios.